Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. The previous video we have seen a lot of topics on instrumentation, basically pressure, what are different types of pressure, how to derive the units of pressure, uh, what are different pressure measurement devices like gravitational gauges, deformation gauges, uh, pressure transducers and pressure transmitters. So if you want to check out those videos, I just copy those link in the description and you can watch it from any time. And today's video we are going to discuss about the, the pressure transmitter electronic components. So this video will be very useful to you if you are going to start and learn your career in instrumentation. But if you are working in instrumentation career, then this video will add more knowledge to you. So keep subscribing to our channel. Come on, let's go to the video. Okay guys. Uh, already we have discussed about the um, you know, pressure transmitter uh, sensor module and uh, how it converts a uh, displacement into uh, a 420 milliamps uh, electrical signal uh, and uh, in today's video we are going to uh, see the general arrangement of a um, pressure transmitter and uh, how does a transmitter look so how the sensor and the electronic components are uh, um, uh, connected together and we will see an exploded view uh, in this video so what you see this is a pressure transmitter and uh, this is uh, basically a rose mode or emotion make a uh, pressure transmitter you could see over here the transmitter is having a display in the front side and you, you have your power and signal wiring in the rear I will explain you in the next photo and what you see in the bottom is the sensor module and it is having the mounting uh, assembly. This is the side view of a uh, pressure transmitter. You can see over here the top that is a hole and that is a conduit through which the power or signal cable wiring is being uh, entered in the transmitter. And you could see here in both sides of the transmitter we have dual uh, housing. So as I told you earlier that one is for weaving glass, it basically displays the pressure transmitter indication in the field and the other side or the rear side is for power and signal cable. Right. This is the general arrangement of a transmitter, this is a differential pressure transmitter. You can see over here the conduit area in the top, power and signal cable entry and we have a housing component front and rear as I told you earlier that there are two openings and in the center part you can see the sensor module that integrates between the sensor and the electronic components and in the bottom front you could see process connection it has both the high pressure and the low pressure process connection front and that is called the transmitter body so this is a general arrangement of a differential pressure transmitter and this is an exploded wave of a uh, transmitter so let me explain you one by one see the as I told you earlier there are two openings you could see the front and the rear two cover openings at both the end one is for glass wave indication and the other is the power and signal wiring so one side you have a glass wave for local indication and other side is a blinder and which has the uh, power wiring and next is the <clears throat> transmitter security and failure mode alarm switches and zero and span buttons and this is a basic uh, smart electronics this is a PCB board where you have the microprocessor uh, based uh, elements over here this is where it uh, converts the analog to digital uh, signals and do all the amplifications and uh, this is where it converts the displacement into the uh, electrical output signal and next is <clears throat> already we have discussed the microprocessor function i will just copy the link in the description so that you could uh, watch it and next is the space boards it basically uh, connect between the uh, power supply uh, side to the smart electronics board and again it just connect the sensor module to the electronics so it does the two functions one is powering up the smart uh, electronics board and the other is sending the signal from sensor to the smart electronics and next we have the sensor module and you could see very clearly that 
in the bottom it has a diaphragm and it has both HP and LP uh, connection there's a process flange you could see the both the process flange are available and in between we have the sensor module which is having a diaphragm so the pressure which exerted into the process flange pushes the diaphragm and the diaphragm is having a silicon fill fluid and that uh, pushes the sensing diaphragm and that displacement signal is sent to the smart electronics and that senses the dry displacement and converts into a 14 million electrical signal bank flange for AP and GP transmitter it means that uh, the differential pressure transmitter can be used as a gauge pressure transmitter by just blinding the HP or LP soil so that's why they gave this it's an option if you have any doubt you just ask your questions in the comment section I will explain you further so this is how pressure transmitter uh, works from the inside okay guys I hope you got a very good insight on the transmitter electronic components and if this video is very useful to you just hit the like button and share to our instrument community and if you want to watch such instrumentation and control system videos, do subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.